There it is. So I just went out and bought the DJI wireless mic and in this video I'm going to be testing it in real world situations. I did go out and purchase this mic with my own money so this is not sponsored by DJI in any way. So this is my honest review and real test of the mic. I'm not going to go over many specifications with this wireless mic. There's many other videos and forums out there you can read up on and all the audio is going to be coming through this little mic right here. I will go over really quick what came in the box when I ordered it. So you do get this little bag here from DJI. You get a few different cables for connecting to your phone and you do get some of these fluffy dead cat things um, as well as some other instruction manuals. You do get this charging case right here and I love this thing. And it's got a couple different connectors in there and it comes with both of the transmitters as well as the receiver which I actually have attached to the Sony a7C which I'm recording on right now. One thing I do like about this mic a lot is that you can actually record individual audio without having the receiver set up to the camera. You would just have to sync the audio once you go into the editing process. So you guys are gonna come along with me. We're gonna see how this mic does. And you know what? It's kind of windy out today, so I think I'm actually going to put the dead cat on there. I almost forgot my hat. And right now I'm upstairs, so hopefully it's not cutting in and out. That's one of the things we're gonna test is the range on this and what stuff gets in the way. So one cool feature to these mics is they actually have a little metal clip and it stays onto your shirt pretty good. So this, I'm curious to see if this would still pick up the audio. I mean, obviously I'm not far from the camera, but in the car right now, like I wonder how many barriers this mic can be picked up through. Oh, good. I got pockets on these. All right, we're going for a BMX ride. Obviously, like, this is the coolest thing about a wireless mic is the fact that there's no cables attached to it at all. Let's get, oh, it actually feels so good out here. It's so windy though. Oh. Yo, how does the audio sound right now? I'm inside my house. I'd be quite surprised if this is good. Ooh, I've never put my bike in the back of my new car yet. Now, the only thing that's gonna be hard about doing this DJI mic test is the fact that I'm going to record a full video and upload it regardless if the audio gets cut out or not. All right, we're gonna go for a little cruise. Let's see how much wind this can handle. So if I roll down both windows, let's try to get a, a better view here. All right, so we're just cruising. I feel like my camera's gonna fall off. So first thing I'll go do today is go check on the house and see how that's coming along. All right, so we're at the house right now and I'm seeing quite a bit of progress. I'm not gonna show you guys until next week because that'll be about a month since my first video of when I talked about when I bought it, but quite a bit of progress on the house. So right now it's saying there's about 15 to 20 mile per hour winds. So this wasn't the perfect day to do a audio test for this mic. However, if the audio is coming out good, then that means that this mic can stand up to itself. So here's one cool thing about this mic is you can go pretty far with it. So I'm not sure when you would ever need to use something like this, but the range on it's really good. And another thing, the like I mentioned before with the mic itself, it has an ability to have a separate audio recording file. So if you do walk, wow, it's pretty windy out here. If you do walk a ways and it starts cutting out and you have that backup audio set, then it'll continue recording. You'll really never lose any of your audio files. Now right now, I don't have the audio recording set up, so I'm just gonna keep walking until it breaks up. At this point, I'm out of line at this point, I'm pretty far from my camera, so like this is pretty far. What I'd really like to do is actually use this setup for maybe an interview or like a podcast style because although you can do a bunch of stuff with it, the audio is pretty crisp on it. And the fact that it comes with two of them makes it perfect for doing like interviews. And even if it was like an interview where you're moving around a whole lot, this has the flexibility to not have any cables connected. And this is my second attempt with this because the first time, I didn't have my mic turned on. This is a different type of test because it's gonna lose connection quicker than if you were just walking away from the mic. And I don't know why you would ever need to use something like this. <laughs> we're all about, all about testing the DJI wireless mic and seeing what it can do. 
The fact that I'm facing away from the uh, receiver right now probably isn't good because I'm also in a car, which is gonna make a lose connection quick also. So we're not gonna go too far here because I don't wanna leave my $1,500 camera just sitting out in a parking lot. So we're just gonna go down the road. And at this point, All right, we're coming back. Let's see if it's picking up the audio again. And we're pulling in. It's kind of cool. It's a cool concept that I could be able to record this far away. Who knows? I guess we won't Oh, we won't know until we edit the video. Oh, my camera's on a little bit of an angle there. All right, now we'll go over to finish whatever else we have to do for the day. Now this is an audio test with just the internal mic that's on the Sony a7C. Obviously the quality's not good, I just wanted a comparison between this and the DJI wireless mic. Now here's the difference when I plug in the DJI wireless mic. As you can see, the quality is a lot better. And it's good because it sounds the same wherever I go. This is a multi-directional mic, so basically it picks up my voice wherever I'm standing. I could be standing facing away from the camera and it picks up the same audio. I'm honestly scared my camera's gonna drop over because it is very windy. This was like the least windy spot. Oh yeah, I don't trust that. Well, I wanted to take my longboard and my BMX bike down the bridge, but I can't right now. For some reason, there's so much traffic here. After using the mic all day and using it in different situations, I'm very happy with what DJI has put out. The only downside I found with this mic was the fact that it costs a lot of money. I think this goes for about $330, which is quite a bit for just a mic. However, the other competitor is the Rode Wireless Go, and I believe that's around the same price as well. After doing my research on both the mics, I believe that the DJI was best fitted for me and it got better feedback from other consumers. So as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in next week's video. Peace.